Amen and Amen. I now hand over the mic to the chapters. Thank you, Media One, for the introduction. Um, good afternoon, colleagues, senior um, colleagues generally. Um, we are here. Um, starting from Media One, uh, out to read. So, uh, also want to uh, extend uh, greetings to you from the Inspector General of Police. Um, greeting, uh, Irene Will, and welcome to this press conference. I want to thank you for uh, coming to this press conference uh, within a short notice. We are very happy and we recognize your support because through you we get to members of the public. We inform them about the day-to-day -day happening, particularly in the area of security. And it's through you we get to them. And what makes us very happy that uh, for emergencies, within the shortest possible notice, you are able to come uh, to grace our press conference. This is not an exception. The difference, though, is that uh, this is going to be a press release from the Israeli police to the general public through you. And I must uh, make it clear to you that uh, this press conference, uh, sorry, that the press release is not going to be followed uh, by questions. That's the difference, though. We're making a press release because of the nature of the matter we are handling, it is not possible to entertain questions. Or with what we are going to read to the general public, to you, um, they will be able to understand that what is on, on clock and what we are doing. We promise that from time to time we will come to the general public to you with uh, developments. So let me stay, let me go straight to the point. Press release from the Sierra Leone police. Freedom, 31st July 2023. The general public is hereby informed that the security sector has been following intelligence regarding the activities of certain individuals, including senior military officers, working to undermine the peace and tranquility of the state and unleash violence on peaceful citizens of Sierra Leone. In that regard, several arrests have been made and the suspects are assisting the police with the investigation. Preliminary investigations have revealed that these individuals planned to use purported 
peaceful protest the 27th and 10th August 2023 as the guise to unleash violent attacks against state institutions and peaceful citizens. The security sector knows with dismay that despite continuous, continued efforts to consolidate our hard won peace and democratic gains, there are individuals at home and abroad that continue to undertake actions meant to derail the peace and tranquility of the country. The security sector assures the public that the country remains peaceful and that the situation is fully under control. The public is therefore urged to remain calm and go about their normal business. We encourage members of the public to report any suspicious activities to the appropriate authorities. End of the press release. As I said into earlier, we are not going to entertain questions at this point in time. On behalf of the Inspector General of Police, the rank and file of the Israeli Police, and all of us here, I mean, the security sector, and my person on behalf, I want to thank you very much for gracing this occasion within the shortest notice. And we promise that we will again call on you to come from time to time when we want to give further updates on this press release that uh, we have just concluded. I want to thank you very much and we highly appreciate your support. Thank you. Yes, my colleagues, so this is different <laughs> principles. We'll be coming time to time. <laughs>